Hey folks, welcome to the Do Yourself Dad channel. Replacing your toilet seat doesn't have to be a crappy job. Oh, no, 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 you cannot joke about that. Yeah, that's not funny. Anyway, replacing your toilet seat is something that you can do really, really quick. You might not even need any tools or at a minimum, you'll need a screwdriver and an adjustable wrench. So let's get started. Now there's two things to consider when you're picking out your new toilet seat. First is shape. Now, toilet seats come in basically a round shape or more of an oval shape, comes out a little bit more like that. Both of the toilets in my house are these round shaped ones, but you do wanna make sure you get the right ones. So measure your toilet before you purchase a toilet seat. The other thing to consider is material. Now this is a wood toilet seat that is coated. I tend to like the wood ones more than the plastic ones. The plastic ones tend to feel cheap. Like I said, I'll have a link for all these down below, but you may also wanna just go to your hardware store to pick one up because then you can actually feel them and feel what they feel like. Now all toilet seats mount to the toilet pretty much the same way. There's two holes, but the actual style of hinge tends to vary. Some of them bolt directly on and some of them have these little releases that pop up and then the entire toilet seat clicks off. Either way, we're gonna have to undo those two screws. Now with this kind of toilet seat, you can actually just pull straight up and the toilet seat releases. That makes it a lot easier to clean. Now some of these, you can't release them, you're just gonna have to go straight through the hinge to unscrew it. But this is the hardware we're gonna have to remove to put on our new seat. And to remove the hardware on this one, we're gonna use a screwdriver and just our hand. If it's really tight, you may need to put a wrench on the bottom of it. Now the hardware on our new seat goes on almost the same way. This is the little clip that is gonna hold the seat in and this piece of nylon material goes through that clip and kind of pops in place. Then we're gonna take our hardware and go underneath and tighten it up. So if you notice on this one, the hardware can actually move around a little bit when it's loose, and that's by design. So with this style, you don't wanna tighten it all the way down until you have the seat on, you can get the seat centered, and then you tighten it down the rest of the way. So now with these two clips in place, we can lift this little portion of the bracket off, and these should slide right on. Now some of these slide on, and some of these click on from the top, so you just wanna make sure you follow the instructions with yours. Once they're on, click those down to secure it, and you should be all set. Now look around the toilet, Make sure everything is lined up. And everything is, we can go back underneath and tighten those down all the way. Now, if you can't get it tight enough with your hands, you can use an adjustable wrench or a pair of channel locks to tighten those down. And that's all there is to it. This is a quick, easy job. You can get done in about 10 minutes using just your hands or maybe just a screwdriver and a wrench. Now, if this video helped you out, and I really hope it did, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, and it'll also let you know when we come out with new videos, all sorts of fun, easy projects just like this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of stuff you're working on around the house. Anything you need help with, I might make a video just for you. And of course, thanks for watching.